Hey, what is up you guys? You're watching APS Amplifier. Today we're going to be opening the Retro Pack. Video. Retro Pack, yes. This is the recently re-released Retro Pack. So uh, a lot of people don't know, but the original Retro Pack was released in like 2000 and some year, six maybe, seven. Um, and it was actually released in the EU specifically. Yeah, everywhere but in the West. Yeah. I mean, some people consider the EU the West in a But we are West sense. of them. Uh, yeah, and so this was like a reprint set, a major Yu-Gi-Oh reprint set. They've recently re-released it in stores. You can get it in these packs of four, like four nine-card packs for 18 bucks from your local Walmart or other big box retailer. Uh, in ancient Egypt, there existed a force so powerful. It had to be locked away for a millennia. Now, all duelists have the chance to unleash this energy by uncovering the elusive powers. So difficult to find. They changed that second sentence. What did it used to be? It used to be like, now one boy has like unlocked the power, it's time to duel or something like that. That's what they used to oh, say. we're not least. advertising the anime anymore. Yeah, I think that they purposefully got rid of that. I think it's kind of interesting. Return to greatness with the retro pack. Each box includes four retro booster packs. Wow. It's so cool to see this four old picture. Packs. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about four. I think they should have five for the price. Either way. I just don't understand if we're doing four packs, why put it in this, you know, huge, big old box. Yeah. It's so cool seeing this old picture of Yugi. Like, this is like the original picture they used on like LOB and stuff. I remember All I hear is would. that your move song. Yeah. Also, these old arts of Red Eyes, Dark Magician. Oh no, where I got it. And Blue Eyes, White Dragon. We're so cool. Retro Pack is actually a really great pack for like the retro experience. I think it's better mm -hmm. than actually opening LOB and Metal Raiders in some ways because oh, mine's nice. Got a nice big old crease in it. Yeah. But um, I think it's better than opening those because it kind of takes away the filler of the boring vanillas that you don't yep. really care about and just gets straight to the good stuff as we will hopefully see. Because that was the only thing about uh, rare hunters, you know, we'd open up these old sets, and a lot and of so much is just unused. bad bloat. They have this perception as like being these fun packs, but like really opening a pack of LOB sucks. Yeah, it's not a great time. Like if you're not pulling. No, the good I stuff. consistently pull Trihorn Dragon. I've done it twice on camera. There's, there's proof. Speaking of rare hunters, we were thinking of doing a little. Well, you go series somehow with these retro packs, so maybe stick around on the APS channel. You can see it soon. Maybe a maybe a retro uh, roundhouse. Does this this is a pretty cool pack? Does this not look pretty pretty awesome? It it does look nice. I'm excited to open these. All right, well, let's take it away with pack number one. One out of four. Here we go. Are there any like chase rarities in this set? I don't think so, right? They do suit, they have common, rare, super, and ultra. So okay. there are like good ultras that you want to pull. Like a lot of the good spells and stuff are ultra. But some are just like rare and super. So there are no like ghosts or ultis here. No, but here's something cool off the bat. Um, they use the old printing style. Oh, like yeah. The, the font and uh, everything is kind of old. Ooh. So the only difference, of course, still has copyright 2020 studio dice and all that stuff. Couldn't change that. But, you know, otherwise, quite nice. So, Shining Angel, Rising Air Current. I'm assuming they have all the elemental field spells. Mm -hmm. UFO Turtle. See, off the bat, this Fire. is like the retro stuff. Like, UFO Turtle, Shining Angel. There hasn't been a miss yet. Upstart Goblin? Pretty awesome. This would be really fun to draft with. Super rare off the bat, Catapult Turtle. Funny enough, um, this card is still used in FTKs to this day. And it it's kind of exists in different formats. to like find them, you know? Yeah, tribute a monster to inflict damage equal to half of its attack to your opponent. And that is- I support it. That is really cool. Yugi uses Catapult Turtle in the anime. It even kind of has the same, like, yeah, the, the same super rare, because like the water attribute is not yeah, foil. I think it is the same spoiling style as they so use So they tried originally. to emulate that. It's even not cut well. So it really doesn't <laughs> going to one card. Baby Dragon. That's going to be the first miss. But it's an anime card, that so it's true. not a miss. It is retro. Jirai Gumo. This shows up in so many Ooh. retro draft-like formats. Oh, you mean our retro draft Our formats. Yeah, ours. <laughs> Harpy Lady. Gotta have her. Mask of Darkness. Love that really card. Really good one. Get back a trap. Get your traps. So first pack is already pretty. It's a fire pack. Is bussin'. We've got 
Catapult Turtle. So a super. So maybe since it was in the first pack, we can hope to get like an ultra or something in here. Can too. this get summoned off Mother Grizzly? It can. Hmm, good to know. Interesting thought. Yeah. Just thinking, just thinking about some things. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, just you know, already formulating strategies. Oh my god, this pack is like <laughs> you messed that up. Just <laughs> falling apart. I blame the pack, not me. Okay, here oh, we go. Spell oh, trap man. removal. Spell trap removal. This, this pack's had everything. That's really good for draft. Mystical space typhoon. Send you of the thousand hands. I wonder what A little ritual rituals. action. I'm assuming like relinquish. I here, mean, probably. Giant Germ, this and Nimble Mamanga were always... Is um, Nimble in this set too? Maybe? I mean, this one that does damage to your opponent and then Nimble gains you. Oh, I saw oh, something crazy. Rux and Special. Umaruka, that's the water that's thing. It's a good water. We got Exodia the freaking Forbidden one in here. We got the head. That's awesome. Exodia the Forbidden one. We have right leg, left leg, right arm, and left arm. In addition to this card in your hand. You win the duel. You just win. That's what you it does. You just win. That's all there is to say about it. So technically still a miss. Not really a pull that you I mean, want. it's an anime card. But it, it, yeah, if, if you're getting this as a gift, I think, for somebody, like kind of like, hey, here's a cool little throwback Yu-Gi-Oh thing, then they'd love Actually, the I need that for my Millennium this. deck. I don't have, I don't have any Exodia pieces. Oh, so look at you. You're calling it a miss. And... <laughs> There you go. Polymerization. This, this was always so the, mo the, the most annoying thing about playing like those old formats and drafting was we get these fusion get monsters, cool fusions, but no polymerization. Poly. See, this, that's why this set, like, this set slaps. But so it's far, we haven't seen any fusion monsters. That's true. Baby Dragon, Mahavela. I hate Everybody you. loves Mahavela. I, I hate you. You beat me with that I don't that know card. why you're saying such things about Mahavela. It's nice. Oh, Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. This is actually, this card's got like a legacy in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories speed runs. It is the... Strongest fusion monster, I believe, that players can attain in game. That's or like fair. easily make That's anyway. Fair. So you have to just use this and then power it up to. There was like a solid week. Them. I actually ran this in my Thunder Dragon deck, like back in the back in like toss format. There is um, another card that uses like this art, and it's like mirrored. And yeah, it's there like is. I uh, the what's name its of name? It. Um, but I know it's not. It's one. not called anything similar either. It's like something ruler. Oh my gosh! I, that's all I know. Is it's something ruler. Cool though. All right, let's have the packs. Retro pack number three. So so far we've got a hollow in every pack. We have. We are two for two. Okay, here we go. Toon World, the card that does nothing. Pay it, one thousand life points to activate this card. It just hurts you. You made a short about this and people disagreed with you. Oh, well, they're they like, could... you're an idiot, Alec. It does too do something. Yeah, when you tell me what the effect is on this yeah, card. Yeah, Tomb World does not does, have an effect, I mean, guys. Like, that's a cost, not yeah. an effect, people. This is true. Blind Kamakiri, number one. Good card. Molten Destruction. Well, that's if you wanted card. to draft, you really could like pick any attribute and kind of run with it. Giant Germ. Good card. And La then Jin. La Jin. Oh, this is super rare. I looked confident 1,800 first. attack mods, a little beat stick action here. So we are three for three with foils. So there must be a foil in every pack then, right? If that's true, then good for them. I, that's good. That, I think that's a good decision because we were opening Light of Destruction earlier. And <laughs> it's not like that, so. Uh, Ooh, Gravekeeper's Servant. Yeah. I've used this card more times than I should have. Obnoxious ass card. Harpy Lady. Hane Hane. I've used this one a lot. There's a good one. I'm assuming Man Eater Bug is in here too. Am I you know how, how I feel about Man Eater. Something. Love it. Return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. And another Mahavela. This feels like a fun goat set. It does. Although I haven't seen too many equip spells. So Mahavela might not actually even be on the Oh, that that's a very good point. But I mean, it also only up in three packs. It's a pretty large set. It's like 101 cards. Actually, it's the same size as a regular set. Pack number four. All right, time for the fourth and final pack. So there are no secrets here. No, but okay. there are supers and ultras. I, I believe there are no secrets. Okay, so here's our first uh, ritual card, Black, Black Illusion, Illusion ritual. ritual. So I guess the Relinquished is somewhere in this set. I always thought that it'd be cool if whenever you get a ritual spell in your pack, that the ritual monster should also be in the pack. Or like have a higher chance of having it in there. Just so that you'll have it. <laughs> yeah, because like nothing's worse as a kid than like getting... I guess there's a sense of wonder to it. Like, you get this, and you don't know, like, what the ritual monster is, or vice versa. So it's kind of the, you know, it gets you to buy more, obviously. But That was my conundrum with Hungry Burger as a kid. 
Toon Mermaid. Gaia Power. More of these uh, Luminous Spark. Equip Spell. Megamorph. Equip Spell. Yeah. Well, this is an Equip Spell. That's a Field Spell. Oh, oh my gosh. You're right. That is a Field Spell. Yeah, but this is Megamorph. When your opponent's... When your life points are lower than your opponent's, the monster gets double the attack. But it's half when your life points are higher. Get, 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 put that on your Mahavila. Yeah, kind of swingy. Giant Soldier of Stone. And also this is our first rare. Oh yeah, that's our rare. So, so yeah, no uh, super in this battle. Giant Soldier of Stone. Trap Hole, always good. Magic Jammer. Solid stuff. Another Hane Hane. This so is really That means fun. we had a really good pack then. A really good box then. Yeah, we got two supers and an ultra. Maybe not like the ones that you would necessarily want to get, but you know. Listen, but th these were all very functional cards. That is true. I think that this will be a really fun uh, set to kind of do a draft series with. So there's only a few just straight up bricks here, right? Like the Black Illusion Ritual. And that's, the... uh, that's only bad because you don't have the thing yeah. to summon it with. Like if you had a Relinquished. Then suddenly, like, you know, Relinquish is the easiest like, virtual monster to We did summon. get a send you. If we were seeing the, Rel the Relinquish, there's something there. That is true. So we were thinking we might do a little series with these retro packs. So stick around for that. A little bit of a, a retro time. Cool. Well, so for 18 bucks, I think that this, compared to the Light of Destruction packs, I would say this is probably more worth it for the old school hits. Like, yes, we got a little bit luckier here with, like, the amount of foils, but obviously that could have gone either way. Who knows? Right. I'm more so, I think that this just, it's, like, seeped in nostalgia. And I mean, this, this set this. is so DM, it's not even funny. This set could not, couldn't be any more DM than it is. Yeah, it really, 100%. It, so that was fun. I hope you, that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and maybe you pick it up for yourself. I guess that'll be it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Pass turn.